For a year, sexual assault kits sat untested in the state of Wisconsin. Tonight, we have learned charges have been filed in nine cases, including three victims from Milwaukee. Our Suzanne Spencer joins us live now with why these charges just came about now. Suzanne? Stephanie, conversations about sexual assault are never easy, but neither are what these victims have to see and go through. This is an evidence collection kit or a sexual assault kit. You can see the swabs, evidence markers, but tons of paperwork involved here. It's a process that takes anywhere from three to five hours just for one person, and some victims waited far too long for answers. Inside Aurora Sinai, nurses have opened thousands of sexual assault kits through the years. We're taking a look at their bodies in really personal and invasive ways and collecting evidence from them. It is, it's a very difficult process for many people to experience. Aurora Shireen Horn Dalzen says the kids are either given to law enforcement or the state crime lab where victims wait to hear what was found. I think for many women, not only gives them the hope that something may be done, but it also validates them and makes them feel that they are believed. The trust was lost when the Department of Justice announced thousands of kids were untested and since then it has been trying to make it right. On Wednesday the Attorney General announced charges were filed in nine of them including charges against three men in Milwaukee County. In 2012 near 41st and Locust, prosecutors say Patrick Warren sexually assaulted a 26 year old victim who lost consciousness. She went to Aurora Sinai for a sexual assault kit six years later. Court documents show the DNA matched to the defendant. A similar scenario at 5th and Center. A woman said Cedric Ball was very violent with her and forced her to have sex. That was 2014. The DNA match didn't show up until 2018. And at 36th and Chambers, authorities have now charged Kenneth Smith with kidnapping a woman and locking her up back in 2013. Court documents say she told police he also made her have sex. A DNA profile was developed using a sexual assault kit, but he was not charged with raping her. All women with kits that made a big difference in their case. So for many people, getting answers to the kit, especially in an unknown assault, is critical. Of the thousands of untested kits, 1,622 of those had DNA identified from those, but only 6% or 103 of those kits were survivors that were actually notified. The DOJ offers several reasons for why that could be the case, including that there simply wasn't enough evidence, but also that the survivors may not have wanted to know the outcome of that. We've got a link to more resources pertaining to this on fox6now.com. Back to you. It is fascinating, Suzanne, and disturbing at the same time. Thank you for that.